Next time you're playing with your medium irons, I want you to try and play with the lie of the club, so high, how, how high the handle is or how low it is, to try and help you with direction. So if I wanted to hit a little fade in here, this is just a nine iron, I'm gonna stand face pointing left, feet pointing left, I'm gonna try and swing across the ball, but I'm also gonna try and stand a little higher in my posture, so a little bit more upright, hand a little higher. This would allow more hold off as I hit the ball to keep the face open to a path, hopefully giving me a little bit of left to right movement. Didn't start that one left enough, but got the uh, shape I wanted. In contrast, I'm gonna try and draw the next one, say around a tree, so a good amount of draw, and I'm just gonna get the toe a little higher. So I'm gonna point the face where I want the ball to start, get my feet slightly more close to that line, but see how the handle now is lower, I'm crouched over a bit more. This is gonna allow a little bit more roll of the toe. And hopefully I can get that ball spinning back. Go on, I'll keep going, keep going. No, that's not a bad effort, look. Right to left movement. So I'm using my setup. So, you know, pointing faces and feet, opening and closing, those kind of ideas, feeling different releases. But I'm also using lie to persuade those movements. Next time you're out practicing, just try somewhere you stand a little high. Try somewhere you stand a little lower. So toe up and then maybe even toe down, heel slightly up. See what it does to your shot shaping. You might be able to use that next time you're on the golf course.